The students in Ms. Bremley's and in Ms. Henderson's classes have been hard at work learning all about trash that we create from home and at school really impacts the earth when it ends up in a landfill. We investigated the trash we throw away after a typical lunch here at Cathcart and discovered some startling information. As a school, we contribute on average 60 pounds of trash to the landfill each day just from our lunches, but not all of it is trash. You or the kid could do the math to figure out that that equates to around 10,000 pounds a year. To put things into perspective, that's the size of an Asian elephant. 10,000 pounds of trash just from the students here at Cathcart for one meal a day during the school year. So why is this a big deal? What happens to the trash when it gets sent to a landfill? While landfills are great for getting trash out of our homes and neighborhoods, the garbage in them can be quite harmful to the environment. First, the trash doesn't decompose, break down back into dirt, for decades. Most of the trash buried in the 1960s, that's probably when your grandparents were born, is still there. It will likely be there for many more decades to come. Second, the trash sits in the landfill. Gases from the rotting garbage get released into the air. This can help create an unhealthy atmosphere. The gases are making the earth sick. We do have some good news, however. If we all do our part, we can help our environment, and Cathcart's Green Team is here to help you get started. First, you can start by recycling appropriate items in your classroom and in the lunchroom. Take a look at this classroom trash can. All of this will end up in the landfill, but really only a small amount of it is actual trash. Look how many things can be recycled. This can be recycled except for the cap. Paper can also be recycled. Cardboard, recycled too. And paper bags can also be recycled. Oh yeah, plastic bags are definitely trash though. It's easy to throw things into the trash can, but it's not easy for the earth to recover from all the harm we are doing it by filling up the landfills. It takes time to learn how to recycle, but once you get started, it's easy. Look for helpful posters being put up in the lunchroom to help you get started. But Sophia, after I recycle, there's still a lot of food and other garbage on my tray. Does all of this go into the trash? Nope. Any food you don't want that hasn't been opened can go into the extra food tub. But what about the food I started to eat, but I didn't finish? We take any food that is left over from our lunches and put them into the new compost bin. Oh, right. We can compost at home. But I didn't know we could uh, here at school, too. Is there any food I can't put in that bin at home? My mom is kind of picky. Any food you have left over can go into the compass bin. Sandwiches, yogurts, fruits, veggies, crackers. The list even includes non-food items like paper towels, napkins, and the cardboard trays like your food, like spaghetti, comes in. So by the time I put recyclable items into the recycle bin, put my food napkins in the compost can, there really isn't much left on my tray to throw away at all. That's the idea. The less trash we send to the landfill, the better. If we all take small steps to help the environment, it will go on and make a huge impact. Look for these helpful posters to help you in the lunchroom. Here's what you can recycle out of your lunch or off of your lunch tray. Anything that's cardboard, like your milk cartons or your juice boxes, any aluminum cans, any plastic water bottles, but don't forget the caps have to be thrown away. Your pudding containers, any lid that's larger than three inches in diameter, a love note from your mom or dad, or a fruit cup container. Anything that's left on your tray or in your lunchbox after you've started to eat it but you just don't want it anymore should be tossed into the compost bin. Along with all the food that's left over, you can also throw in napkins, paper towels, paper plates, and the little boats that things like your spaghetti come in. So much of what we throw into the trash cans can be thrown into the compost. After you recycled everything from your lunchbox or that's left on your lunch tray and thrown all the extra food that you already ate but didn't want to finish eating into the compost along with napkins and paper towels, you aren't left with too much that actually needs to go into the trash can. The things that do need to end up in the trash can are candy wrappers, granola bar wrappers, your forks, knives, spoons, chip bags, fruit roll-up bags, 
sandwich bags, like your Ziploc bags, those all need to go into the trash. And any cap that's smaller than three inches in diameter, like your water bottle caps, those also need to go into the trash can. Look for the green team helpers in the lunchroom during your lunchtime to help make sure you put the right things in the right places. Thanks, Thanks for, for helping us make the world a cleaner place. place.